What's up guys, it is Will here back again and today we're here to react to the live unboxing, the live preview, the live release of Tony Stark, the mech edition, the mech test edition from Iron Man 1, you know that Tony Stark with all the mech test stuff that everyone was really excited about. That was the grail to end all grails, the grail to rule all grails. We're gonna live react to it because Sideshow did a unboxing for it, a first look as they describe it. So we're gonna react to it and just kind of look at the final product, see what we think, see whether it's worth that $280 uh, that they originally marketed it for. So with that said, let's not waste any time. Let's jump right into this reaction. I'm gonna mute the audio. I'm just gonna kind of scroll through. You can see the box there, very wide, very wide box, very interesting, right? Um, that's gonna be, a, that's gonna take up a lot of real estate. I mean, wherever you store your boxes, whether it's in your closet, whether it's in your, hopefully not your attic, because if you have any sort of accessories in the box, if they're in the heat or the cold or whatever, unless you have it AC or heated up there, then uh, if you do, then salute to you because that is a lot of money you're probably spending on that. But if not, then you got to store that box somewhere. That's a big box. It's a beefy, beefy box. So yeah, a lot going on there. So you got the mech test arm. That's pretty cool. You can see the Tony Stark there with the sort of mech test stuff going on. This looks pretty much like the prototype, $280, $280 rather is not a bad price nowadays, especially with considering this, you're getting this arm and the base and all that. Uh, the box art looks pretty typical. Batteries, we got the watch battery still, unfortunately, not my favorite, but they're there. <laughs> so this, the base, um, it does have that lifelike look to it. I mean, it feels like it's from the scene, but it seems pretty simple. Even the logo on the text, I don't know, like the, the, the font style, I don't know. It seems kind of old school. It almost looks like Terminator-ish to me. That's very interesting. Uh, so let's look a little bit further at this. The head sculpt um, looks pretty much like the prototype. I mean, I think if you pre-order this, you're gonna be pretty much happy. I don't think this is the most spot on Robert Downey Jr. that we've seen thus far, but the all the wires and the sort of armor stuff going on is pretty cool. I don't feel like most people are probably gonna go for this though, unless you're like one of the diehard Iron Man fans and you really, really, really need a Tony Stark from Iron Man 1. You're not an Iron Man from Iron Man 1. Then this is probably be a pass for most people, but He's got knee pads, some sort of a uh, you know metal armor stuff like that. Head sculpt, yeah, it's pretty good. It's definitely not bad. It's definitely not bad. I don't feel like it's one of Hot Toys top tier head sculpts or anything, but it, it's it's solid and it looks like the prototype. The outfit is pretty basic. This is a very basic looking figure. In some ways, it almost looks like a kit bash figure. Not necessarily like it's a bad figure, but just not a lot going on, right? Um, not a lot going on with this figure at all. Um, in terms of the, 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 the tailoring and stuff like that, there's a lot going on in terms of like the armor and the wires and stuff like that. But in terms of the outfit itself, uh, not that exciting. Um, but nonetheless, I mean, it's a, it's a pretty cool looking figure. It's definitely not for me. And I feel like this is not for everyone, despite the fact that it's Tony Stark. I don't think this is a wide reaching figure. This is not, I always go back to Cad Bane. This is not Cad Bane. This is not DX Vader. This is kind of a niche Iron Man, I feel like. But there's a lot going on there in the legs. I mean, I think it's, it's pretty well done. Um, going over the articulation, that's pretty cool. Uh, I kind of want to see the mech test. The Yeah, there we go. So that's talking about sort of what that, you know, rotatable, articulatable arm is. That's pretty cool. That's probably the, one of the coolest parts of the figures. But uh, you get the proof that Tony Stark uh, has a heart thing. That's pretty cool. The arc reactor, that's pretty cool. They, they got a nice little base for you. The hands... Um, this is cool. I mean, I think this would only fit into your collection if you had like a really significant Iron Man collection. If you had a, just a few Iron Man, I don't feel like this is it. I don't feel like this is the one. Your money would be well spent, better spent, I feel like, on the Mark III reissue, the 2.0. So for me, uh, yeah, I mean, I don't know. It's pretty cool, but uh, yeah. <clears throat> I, I don't feel like there's enough here to really excite me. That's kind of how I feel about it. But uh, there might be for some out there. And I think if you pre-ordered this and you were excited about it, I think you're going to be happy because overall, my mic's falling over, overall, this looks pretty close to the prototype. So yeah, those are my thoughts, guys. My quick thoughts on this figure, 285 or 280 rather, not bad, right? Because uh, nowadays figures, Cobb Ant is 300 and he comes with less than this. Probably a cooler figure, but you know, at the same time, Tony Stark comes with a little bit more. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. For me, this would be an easy pass, but yeah, I'm happy for the people. I'm happy for the people that are going to get this, you know, uh, it'll be fun. Nice little Tony Stark addition to your collection. So with that said, peace out guys. Bye. I'll see you in the next one.